The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to uh, look at this market today. And as Mr. I'm, I'm okay, folks. My voice is just a little hoarse, but I'm feeling fine. The uh, Mr. Basil Chapman always talks about the bifurcated markets. And boy, they are bifurcating like they've never bifurcated before, folks. We've got the Dow Jones up 350 and the NASDAQ down 200. That doesn't happen very often. Let's just go on to take a look here at this Dow Jones. I just posted it, the Dow Jones email. And you'll see that we're right into that area where we blasted through where we thought was going to be a top. Everything that I talked about yesterday as far as those astro things did not work. We went through the high of December 29th like it didn't exist. Uh, we ended up with a break-even trade on that. The gold trade worked out okay. We ended up netting 2200 on that. And uh, we're flat right now waiting to see the next uh, pattern to unfold. But we've got some really big ones, folks. This is really an amazing day uh, for a whole bunch of reasons i wanted to post a couple of charts here to show you uh, i'll do the FTSE and the nasdaq just a little bit later but the dow jones is the interesting one now this is the dow jones industrial average itself folks this is the uh you know the actual index and you'll notice here that we're right up in this area of uh, right around 36,900, 36,800, where we've got a whole bunch of things coming together. But what's interesting here is if I wanted to show you, just to show you what's happening here, here's the NASDAQ today. And I'll get this up here so you can see it. This is with the, with the forecast of the AI. And this was done, uh, you know, well over uh, two hours ago. You'll notice here that we've been heading down to looks like at around 11.45. That's going to be at, in about 45 minutes. Uh, you'll notice that we've had a drop from uh, 16,500 to 16,002. It's actually gone below that at that point. So that's been that one has been going uh, straight down. But on the other hand, if we take a look at the Dow Jones forecast and what we've been watching for the Dow Jones, you'll see here that the forecast has been for basically a straight up move. And that key time is just the exact opposite of what we have the NASDAQ. Now, one of two things is going to happen. The NASDAQ is going to turn and rally like crazy. The Dow is going to be up about a thousand points today, or there's going to be something turning in the market. Now, whether whether that happens, you know, I'm not sure not. But look, let, look at yesterday in the NASDAQ, folks. This is what's so amazing to me. If you look at this, just get this up here. You'll be able to see it. This is the action of the last four or five days. You'll see the low that we made yesterday, right on January 3rd, was an absolute perfect ABCD pattern at 16,292. The low was 16,293. It can't get any closer than that. Then we go up and we match the high of December 30th. We take it out by one point, and look what happened. We go from 16,560. We dropped 250 handles, and so far, that level down there at 16,187 has held, I believe. That's the 127, and that's also an ABCD. So th this is really going to be interesting here to see what happens here, because we could easily see some type of a spectacular moves, either up and down, and I've always said that I think 2022 will be the uh, you know be the uh, one that really writes the record books as far as uh, as volatility goes now our guest at the break will be Jeff huge of Alpha Insights which we always like to have on and he'll be on at uh, the 1130 hour now let's get over to the FTSE because we are also completing a butterfly pattern uh, in the FTSE let's just get this up here and this is a hold on one second boys and girls uh, this is a four-hour chart that encompasses the last six weeks. You can see here that we're right up here in that zone on the FTSE, uh, very, very close to what we think could be a completion. But by the time I got this and posted it, it might have already hit that and even exceeded it. I'm not actually sure uh, what's going to happen. The next one we're going to look at here is the NASDAQ. 
Let's try it again, Larry. This is the uh, na- uh, the doc. <laughs> hold on a second, folks. This is the, hold on just a second. This is the German DAX. And as you can see here, we've got another ABCD pattern uh, up here near the top. Um, could be a double top. It could be a breakout to the upside, much like we've had in the Dow Jones. We'll have to have to wait and see what's going to happen, you know, with that uh later on but I, I put this up because we have listeners across the pond over in germany and also in uh the uk that like to see these charts each day so that's why i'm more than happy to, to put them up i wanted to go over the mechanics of the uh, gold trade uh, that we did folks uh everybody well those of you that belong to the service that we have at uh 24 7 you know we had a beautiful sell signal here in the nasdaq up at the hold on one second here get this up here there we go uh up at the uh 18 uh excuse me 1832 level sunday night just it was on the air when we were putting it on it hit there twice about an hour later then we made the head and shoulders pattern that came in at around uh, six o'clock in the morning new york time and then boy from down it went and the, the 61 percent excuse me the 382 retracement on that move measured to 180960 and we hit that 180960 and then we dropped all the way down made a new low and then of course the market reversed now that means that these numbers have to be changed because as a new high is made or a new low is made you've got to be able to adjust your move and this is what i'm going to show you on the next chart here is what we try to do is after that high is in you can see that the next 382 comes in at 1811 and it shouldn't get any higher than the 50 percent relationship uh, uh, level which is at 1815 so far uh, by as of about 10 minutes ago that number had held but that once it makes a new low and it made a new low just by 10 cents which was the first thing that you got to be concerned about because there's no selling there uh, but anyway we we sold it well covered it well and all we're doing now is waiting for the next next setup but we have one that we're setting up uh, today in the crude oil contra uh, contract let's just get this up here i wanted to get this uh uh to your level here hold on one second here get this up here one second unfortunately i couldn't get it out in time because it was moving too quickly and i was busy getting prepared for the show you'll notice last night we made a perfect 382 retracement in the crude oil down there at 75 71 that's up sets up the abcd between 77 22 and 77 60 and the high today in the crude as i uh, was about 30 or 40 minutes ago i haven't seen what's happened since that was 77 uh 63 so it was uh spot on right where it was supposed to be yes i know the volume is low in everything folks i don't know why the most amazing thing to me and believe me i for for all the subscribers and the folks here at tfn and what i do is each day i check the open interest figures and believe it or not folks for the last four days with this monster rally we've been having in stocks open interest keeps dropping and dropping and dropping we had a high open interest uh back in uh, October in the S&P 500, right around 3.2 million. We're now running at 2.2 million. We've lost a million players, a million contracts, but that don't make any difference, baby. She's still going higher, looking higher and looking good. Billy Ray, we'll see you in just a few moments after the break. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights on the line. Jeff, how are you doing, my friend, and Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to you, Larry. I'm doing well. Thank you. Say, listen, I want to compliment you again about your way you have approached this market. You have said it was going to go higher. The last time we had you on the uh, tube here about 10 days ago, and we've certainly busted out of every index that we've had, uh, you know, going higher and higher. You're one of the few people that have been suggesting this, and by golly, you've been 100% correct. Now, I'd like to switch over to the, your first chart that you're looking at, which is your market analysis chart. You want to give us a little feedback? Back at what you're looking at this mark at this market at this time, Jeff. Absolutely, I think uh, the bottom line is this, Larry. The trend is your friend until the end. We do trend analysis every week, and last Friday we saw the S and P 500 post a new all-time closing high. Today we made a new all-time intraday high at 48.18 on the cash. I think 48.08 in the E mini. But, uh, yeah. you know, our target was published at 4,800 going into the end of the year last year. We hit that target right as expected. And the breakout above the prior high, which was 4744 in the cash, gave us the ability to project a new measured move target of approximately S&P 5,000. So we have raised yeah. our, our sights slightly. That's only about 4% higher from here. Uh, but we think the market can hit 5,000 and can do it fairly quickly. We would not be at all surprised to see the market hit our target in January, certainly in the first quarter. But beyond that, uh, we do have some concerns. Okay, but well, it's not going to hit it today, maybe, because this is January. <laughs> well, well, that would anyway. be a miracle if it did, no doubt. Well, hey, we've seen miracles before. Listen, uh, Jeff, the one we're watching now is the market participation. Uh, you're, you're talking about narrow. Do you want to explain to the folks what you're looking at here? You know, the uh, percent of stocks 
on the NYSE trading above their 200-day moving average, which most professionals would consider the long-term trend, has declined over the last year from about 87% to about 55% at the end of the year last year. And that's quite a collapse in participation. It was even worse in the NASDAQ composite, dropping from around 75% to about 31%. Now, we did get a slight bounce off the lows, but a very, very marginal bounce in the NASDAQ. So, you know, our concerns really are that this, this market is a market of stocks, and there's very few stocks that are really participating on the upside. You need to own the right yeah. stocks in order to make yeah. uh, money in this market. And, you know, that's what's really driving the index. Jeff, you've been doing this a long time, much like I have, but I have never seen the Dow up 350 and the NASDAQ down 250 in one day. I, I have never seen any type of divergence like that ever. Well, I mean, you just, know, it, it, 350 points isn't that much on the Dow in percentage terms. So it's really not yeah. up that much. Um, but, you know, the NASDAQ is down about a point, point eight, I think. Uh, and the uh, Dow is only up about, you know, a little over half a percent. So, you know, it's it's bifurcated, but there's a lot of weakness. And, and the big stocks are getting hit hard today, uh, particularly the FANG names, uh, where we've uh -huh. got uh, companies like NVIDIA down 5%, Tesla down 4 or 5%. Uh, uh -huh. Apple's holding up better than most, down only 1%. I actually think Apple's a pretty good, inter interesting opportunity here because the breakout yesterday above 182 uh -huh. counts to about 197 short term. So I think we can get a nice little pop out of Apple in the next couple of weeks. Uh -huh. That's a now $3 trillion company, I guess, I saw in Bloomberg. Yeah. <laughs> wow, really amazing. Now, we've got another chart here that's interesting, and that's the uh, long-term divergence here that you're looking at. You want to explain to the folks uh, what's pretty much what you've been talking about here, that that's uh, what we're seeing. Is that correct? That is. Um, you know, it's typical for the market to make new highs or for the market to diverge in terms of its momentum as the market uh, makes new highs in price before a you know meaningful top. And if we look back in history, going back some 30 years, you can see that every major top in the market has been marked by a negative divergence in momentum. Now, you know, we've been um, big advocates of the 36-month exponential moving averages really kind of being the very long-term trend. And our momentum study really measures the deviation above and below that moving average as kind of a measure of rate of change. And even as the market makes new highs, you can see momentum deviate to the downside just ahead of these big moves uh, to the downside, these big drawdowns. And it can take many months, in some cases years, but usually it's a few months uh, before um, uh, you see the drawdown. And so we, we're about two, three months into that um, that that negative divergence period right now. So the market is prime, no doubt about it. Well, it's it's, it's truly. I see the S and P's dropped thirty five points from the high already. So <laughs> it's really having a rock and roll day. That's for sure, uh, Jeff. Well, yeah. I would like to, I, you know, I, I, you know, I, when I have guests on, I don't like to, uh, you know, beat their drums too much because, you know, people think that I have an interest in this. But, you know, I've been doing this business for well over 61 years, and I have to put you in the top five of people that I've seen that follows the markets as efficiently and as accurately as you do. I mean, this is you do a tremendous service to the folks. So I, uh, I, I have to give you a high recommendation on that. And boys and girls, I don't get any kick back on any of these things i never have taken a dime any of these 61 years i'll never do that again but or ever but for heaven's sakes you, you've done a superb job young man you you should be really proud of what you do i mean it's it's really 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 good but now you've you stumped me on something the next chart is something about a seven cycle 2022 and that is a shamita what is this thing that we're talking about here this is totally new to me what is this yeah, well, first, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate that. So the seven-year cycle is a cycle that goes back some 6,000 years. It's actually biblical. It uh, uh -huh. really can be drawn back to the Jewish agricultural cycle uh, where uh -huh. the ancient Israelites were 
um, only allowed to work their land. The landowners can work the land for six years, but they had to take the seventh year off. The seventh year is known as the Shmita or Shemita. And, um, you know, what it really means is to release or let go. And so um, the ancient Israelites used to consider it their sabbatical year. And it was kind of a reset for the Israelite economy. You know, you'd have six years where, you know, uh, landowners could really, you know, make hay while the sun shined, if you will. And, and some people didn't keep up. And by taking that Shemitah year, that, that sabbatical year, it allowed everyone to kind of reset and, and some equity to be restored to uh, the economy. And so, you know, what we've seen really over the last 120 years is that the Shemitah cycle is continuing to show up every seven years. And so um, what I've done in this particular chart is I've delineated the beginning of the seventh year with a vertical blue dotted line. And you can see that that blue dotted line lines up almost perfectly with the momentum divergences that we talked about just before you see a big drawdown in the equity market. Wow, this is great. Hey, stay with us, Jeff. We'll have you on for another part of the break. We'll be back, back folks, with our guest, Jeff Hughes of Alpha Insights. We'll be right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks. We're speaking with Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights, and we're going to be talking about the Elliott Wave analysis that you're looking at. Jeff, what are you seeing here? 
Sure. Um, so, you know, I, I have two potential um, narratives to discuss. The first one's the preferred count on the left. And what it suggests is that we're getting something of an extended fifth wave. And if our thesis is correct and the, and the market can trade up to around 5,000, which is just another 4%, then we should see that fifth wave uh, extend up further before a top is in place. But once we hit um, that that extended fifth wave target of 5,000, that will end both um, you know the intermediate term wave uh, progression as well as the cycle degree wave progression. And once we end the cycle degree wave com- progression at wave five. Um, that suggests that um, we're in a new cycle degree uh, correction, and that correction could be quite significant. Uh, indeed, um, the alternate count to the right suggests what to expect over the course of uh, the next several years if, in fact, we do begin a new cycle degree correction in 2022, which I suspect is possible. Um, whether we top in January or in the first quarter, I think a top is imminent this year. And um, I think it's imminent sooner rather than later. And once we begin to break down, and our initial um, you know, breakdown point is going to be 4278 on the S&P 500. So if we close below 4278, then I have to say that I believe the alternate count is in play and that wave A – of a um, ABC correction that could take us all the way back down to where we started with this bull market last March of 2020, uh, which would be quite a, a collapse in prices uh, over a period that could last, say, you know, something in the neighborhood of 24 months, in my opinion. And if we think about this even longer term, that might be just the beginning of a larger degree correction, what we would call a super cycle degree correction. And we can't actually um, um, know whether that's going to happen or not because nobody's ever seen a super cycle. A super cycle is over 100 years, 120 years. And if we're peaking, if the first super cycle ever to be witnessed in the equity markets is, is beginning, then it's actually beginning as the cycle wave five tops. That would be the end of wave one of super cycle wave one. And we could potentially be in um, a rather dramatic multi-year, if not multi-decade, corrective process that could bring prices back um, substantially lower. And I'm not even going to you know, reach out to project uh, a level, but um, let's start with you know, uh, the first leg of, of wave A down. Uh, to try and get some sense of where we're going. And, and, you know, at this point, it's premature to call a top, okay? The trend remains positive, you know, regardless of today's, you know, market noise, a 2% move in the market isn't enough to uh, shake Uh uh, professional investors out of their positions, put it that way. Uh And it's going to take something that shakes professional investors out of their positions in order to Uh initiate a decline such that the alternate account, uh, alternate count of the Elliott wave analysis is projected. Wow, that's that's really good. So forty two seventy is the one we put a red pencil around. If we get below that, then we know. Well, we're going to have you on long before that number gets hit. So we'll keep an eye on that number, though. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, Jeff, I want to put post this up here so the folks have a way to get in touch with you. It's very easy. Those of you that are listening, it's uh, Alpha Insights. Uh, just go to Jeff Hughes. You'll be able to get it without any trouble at all. And he also has his Twitter name up here, which is uh, Alpha, uh, at Alpha uh, underscore uh, Insights. And then you also have a LinkedIn at Jeffrey W. CMT. So, and your website is www.whinvestment.com. So thanks yeah, for being on the show, pal. And we'll have you on in a couple of weeks, okay, my friend? Be safe and uh, stay with the stay with the trend. <laughs> the trend is your friend, Larry. <laughs> Amen, care, brother. You're one. absolutely 100% sure of that. Thank you very much, Jeff. We enjoy having you on for sure. Keep up that great work, by the way.
Right. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're going to take a look at a couple other markets here that we want to cover. I've covered the DAX. I've covered the uh, the FTSE, all these others. But the main ones is what we're looking at uh, today is to see what some of these things are going to be uh, doing. Uh, we talked about, I believe we talked about the crude oil, uh, getting got up to that level. So far, that's held. Uh, we've talked about the Dow Jones. And, we, and we, the other one is that we were looking for, uh, at around 1130, we were looking for a high to come in here. Now, this is interesting because we've, we've now reached the bottom in the NASDAQ and we've, we're still in the topping formation for the uh, Dow Jones. Now remember, the, the red line has absolutely nothing to do with price, folks. It has to do with time. So we're in that time zone now that if this is correct, we should start down in the Dow Jones and start up in the NASDAQ and the S&P. Now, these are just time factors, so you just can't rely on anything other than stop placement and risk control, and that's what it's that's what it's there for, because if it doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, then you know you've got something that's very, very interesting. Let's get back to that gold, because I wanted to show you how important these numbers really come into play when you're watching these FIB numbers, the way we watch them for extensions and, and retracement and stuff. You'll notice that the 382 retracement on this move came in at 1811. The 50% level came in at 1815. Now, if this and that was just off the secondary high. If you took it off the original high, it would actually be lower than that. So 1816 is the, the end of the end of the line in the in the bear market in gold. We start getting above 1819, then all this was was a big $32 correction down from that high, which was the 61% on the daily. Now, all of this is related to the euro and we had a really nice rally going in the euro today we went down from 112 uh, at 112.73 we got up to rallied about 50 pips up and that's pretty much what you're looking at by the way if you have any questions folks it's 877-927-6648 we're going to have to be uh uh, careful on the number of calls coming in because Al said the the tote board is lined up and it's very difficult. I've got some charts to share share with you uh, that we talked a little bit about yesterday, but I think they're they're very very important. And the first one I want to get up here to show you, I believe, where is it? Oh, that's not the one I wanted. This is the one I wanted right here. This is the one that Jeff was just showing. This is the chart directly from the Elliott Wave people. I, I watched that because the number that they're looking for was hit, uh, you know, back on the uh, 29th of uh, December. That that has not even – we've broken quite a bit from there. We've taken out the lows of last week. And you'll notice that number was – with. I mean, we we're talking – it was absolutely perfect. You can't believe it. It's 36,000. This is the Dow Jones, Larry. Stop the front door. 36,488. Uh, and it, it was pennies. I mean, that was just absolutely spot on. Now, the Dow Jones one was very, very close. Whether it's hit it or not, you know, I'm not absolutely sure. But you know what? I, nobody else is either. Let's move on here. And I want to get back and show you the NASDAQ on that shorter time frame. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. <clears throat> okay, we've uh, been asked to take a look at Robinhood, which we will in just a moment, but I wanted to spend a minute on this NASDAQ weekly chart, folks. You, you have to respect the number of 1.618. You can see the first high that was made there, then the big correction, and then the big expansion move up, stopping exactly at 1.618. Very important number for trading. Interday, outer day, whatever day you want to pick. When it gets beyond those numbers, folks, your risk parameters go out the window and you don't have any help at all. Now, we're going to take a look at Robinhood. And this is a very interesting stock. As you remember, uh, some people really liked it up here at $85 a share. And we're slightly lower than that right now. I think we just hit a new low for the year is what it's looking like. Yeah, well, not quite, but uh, we've been going sideways between 20 and 17. It looks like we're breaking down right now. You can see the high up there. That was the uh, IPO. OK, uh, everybody in the world wanted it because they figured all the millennials would be coming in and maybe they did. I don't know. But anyway, the, the red box, we've talked about this red box in here before. This red box is the only ABCD pattern that this thing has had since it started trading back in August. It had a low of around 37. It rallied all the way up to uh, 48. That was the high of that part in the red box. That's a little tiny ABCD. It's not even close to a 382 retracement. It is a 78% retracement from the high on August 23rd. And then we just drift lower, drift lower, drift lower, drift lower with no ABC in sight. Folks, if this market starts down in the stocks and someday it might this is where we're going to have some fun because these are really strong trending markets and they have clues as to where they're going and part of those clues are the smaller ABCD patterns and also looking at the 382s. But uh, that's the main thing that you want to pay very, very close attention to because markets don't go straight up. I know this one has, and it looks like it's going to go straight up forever. But when you see action like this today, you have to stop and think you've got about 15 stocks in the Dow that pushed it up to 350, where you've got all the other stocks in the S&P 500 were breaking lower. Jeff had a beautiful chart on that showing the divergence and distribution and then also the nasdaq we've dropped over 500 points in the nasdaq uh 300 or 200 and some today uh just in that so there's distribution going on in the market now 
this is a market of stocks, as uh, we've talked about before. So let's uh, keep in mind that we have to be able to watch some of these things as we go through. Unfortunately, that's my, my, my very private line. There's nothing I can do about that, so we'll not worry about it. It's already done. He realized that he was calling during the radio show, so not a problem. Anyway, we're seeing some pretty wild action in here today, and that's what we really uh, like to see. I, wanted, I, I spent some time, folks, looking at that NASDAQ chart because that is really an incredible chart showing the fact that the market could do that type of an action and uh, you know, look what it's done just just over the past two days i mean you have to i mean this is a totally different market than the dow jones folks i mean it's just like uh Hold on a second here. Let me get this up here. Just look at this thing today. I mean, and, and, and we went down to, oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. I hit the wrong button again. All right. My fault. My bad. Let me get it up here. I'm technically challenged, as we all know. <laughs> okay. Here we go. There was where we rallied to uh, this morning up here. We were up uh, 35, 560. We went way below 162. Uh, we hit, I think, 161 and changed. It was 127 of that number. And and uh, we're in a time where that should start to bounce and the other one should start to uh, sort of get back to uh, equilibrium. But we, we have many different things happening, folks. This is going to be the most exciting year in all of these markets that I believe we've ever seen in my lifetime. And I've seen quite a bit. I thought the 70s and 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010 were pretty good. But 2022 will probably set records uh, in volatility like we've never seen before. So uh, those are the, some of the things that I'm uh, looking about. By the way, Al said that one line has just popped up. If you want to try to get through uh, before the next break, you know, that would really be good. But as Jeff, Jeff Huge made a good, good comment, folks. The trend is your friend until it's the end. And believe me, we have not seen any indication of that at all. We had our first chance, uh, I believe, on December the 29th because we had made all those numbers. It lined up perfectly with the Bradley model. Now, the Bradley model has, uh, you know, was the, the 29th was supposed to be the high. Here we are a week later. Uh, a week is about the biggest band that you can get on the Bradley. And so uh, I don't see any astral things today, but, you know, that's not my specialty. My specialty is the short-term pattern recognition and risk control. But uh, one week is about the maximum you can get on the Bradley model, and uh, it would have to turn today in the odds of, well, you could say the NASDAQ's turn today, maybe a little bit in the S&P, but the Dow Jones, which is basically only 30 stocks, and when you figure there's only about 15 of those 30 that really count, it uh, it really makes, a, uh, really makes a big difference. When I look at that Dow Jones and I realized there's not one stock in the Dow Jones that was there in 1929. The last one to leave was General Electric, and uh, so it's a whole new ball game, and as it should be. You know, we've got wonderful things happening in the world. Some bad things, some good things, but we're going to make it through without uh, any trouble at all. The good news is the COVID deaths for these new 19s, uh, or the Omicron, whatever it is, uh, Obi-Wan, Tenobi, whatever it happens to be, or a little less than everybody else, but I think once we uh, self-vaccinate, uh, you know, by immunity, I think we're going to be okay. I don't know if the vaccines are the way to go or not, but we, we're going to get through this at all. We've only lost about six million, only, only yeah, I've had two friends that finally passed away on this thing over the last several years. But uh, if we could get through this winter without, uh, you know, decimating our population, I think we're going to get maybe a lot better because it appears that some of these things are like a bad case of the flu. Hong Kong is now shut down again, uh, but they have only had just a few, I mean, stop and think how what a, how well they've done with this, with the, the way they self-isolated and using masks. And uh, it's really did a great job over there because, you know, I, I think they've only had less than three or four hundred people in Hong Kong, which is seven million million uh, have died from the COVID. So it might be a little bit more than that, but as a few months ago, that was not much difference. So whether that means a whole lot, we'll have to uh, make a uh, make a uh, thing to, to look at. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple other things that look really interesting, and I think this is where the real pedal will come to uh, reach the uh, people on these things. Here, hold on one second. Someone is saying... Uh, 
someone's uh, Bo is asking, do I pull it all in a cash account to buy the VIX or just wait? Send it directly to me, Bo, and I'll hold it for you. Much like I did with my can the box of candy with the three year old grandson. I'll hold the candy for you and when you're ready to have a piece, I'll only charge you a dime for the candy. How does that sound? Just be pay you know, just be careful with everything that you do, folks. You know what I mean? You don't want to have a, a negative return. It's not about the money that you that you don't make it's about the money that you don't lose you want to keep your losses li li as small as you possibly can that's really what you want to do here's what here's what's the real here's the real danger here and very few people talk about this look at the margin debt that we have here folks we've never had anything like this before now you look at the chart of the robin hood okay now, there's something wrong with that picture. How could Robin Hood go from 85 to 17 and with this record margin? It looks like Robin Hood's in big trouble. And that second one there, look at the amount of money that's in the market now, record amounts. Hey, we'll be right back, 877-927-6648. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and this is the time if the Dow Jones is supposed to start to weaken, and this should be the time that it does it. If it's still going up in a half an hour, it's probably going to go up the rest of the day. Uh, we just made a 382 retracement here in the S&P at uh, the 47... 
what was it, 40? I don't even remember the last digit. <laughs> 40, uh, 47, uh, 47, 87, just made a 382 retracement in the S&P. If it goes above 4792, uh, 4797, uh, that would be wrong, of course, but let's pay uh, close attention to it. The NASDAQ bottomed right when it should have, so did the S&P, and now the opposite should be happening with the possible top in the Dow Jones. But remember, if we're by the by the time uh, another 15 minutes, if we're still, if we make new highs in the Dow Jones, it's probably going to go up to be six or seven points, six or seven hundred points higher today, because you'd get a rally in the S&P and the NASDAQ. But these these divergent markets, boy, folks, if you don't use stops in these markets, you're really uh, you're really in big trouble. Now the crude oil hit the major objective that we're looking at today, which was 47.67. That was off of that 382 retracement we looked at last night. I sent this one out to show the folks uh, right before that happened and uh the, the Treasury bonds, uh, just think lower, Ruby. Treasury bonds look horrible, and they're going to get horrible. The AI for them just keeps going lower and lower. We broke through all major support yesterday, folks, that we were talking about in that market. If you remember, we spent a great deal of time talking about the notes, and the notes shattered that number. Let's just get up here. Uh, we were on the air when this was happening, of course. This is from Sunday, but we shattered it, folks. We went way below the 129 level in the no notes, and we also did the same thing in the Treasury bonds. This tells us that interest rates are going higher. It doesn't make any difference with the stock market. As you can see here, that we've got these things up about, uh, what I don't know how high they've how high they've been, 350-some points or so. But if it's basically uh, what we're looking at, oh, ZS is up 3075. What's the What's the price of ZS now? I thought it was making a top at 320. The old high was 385. And guess what, boys and girls? We'll see you tomorrow on a higher up, higher market. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless.